Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Still cloudy out there as we look north across downtown on the Gerber Post Buildings Weather Cam. We'll break those clouds down a bit slowly overnight. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. Warmer weather to enjoy. Monday rain and a brief cool down. Pretty much like last week, just a couple of days, but not quite as cold. Cloudy 41, Terre Haute dew points at 27. Feels like 35 with that south-southwest wind at 10. Pressure steady, 30.16. Look at those temps up north of US 36 on I-74. Zero Crawfordsville, four Danville, one Champaign. Snow on the ground. Go south, 15. Terre Haute, 23. Alding, 18 in uh, Washington. So chilly start. We'll have a couple of days like that next week. The highs today hit 50 at only late. We've had this surge of warm air in. Still 42 for the high in Terre Haute, 42 here at the studios. And Tim's right now, 37 in Paris. Go south to Bloomington, 41. Vincennes at 39, along with Newton, 40 at Marshall. And Effingham checking in at 40 as well. Winds out of the southwest. I think could be a little lighter than what it looked like earlier. 5 to 10 mile an hour range. These are wind speed averages from the airports. Factor that in. Gives you just a hint of a wind chill. Feels like 35 in Terre Haute. Tolerable. Not bad at all, really. Metro views you head out tonight. Some clearing in the clouds back to the northwest. We'll start to see that as we go slowly overnight into tomorrow. Get some sunshine in here. It's going to be dry, too, until we get to Monday. Big picture, we're waiting on a system to form up in the southwest. That'll scoot in here Monday afternoon late, it looks like. Short term, might have seen a snowflake here or there if you were in the northern section of northeast of Terre Haute today. Satellite and radar shows that, but a lot of this was just Virga as far as rainfall. Didn't make it to the ground. Future cast, you can see some clearing in the northwest, so some sunshine as we get through the day tomorrow. Then, Monday, and maybe in the morning you might see a scattered shower, just a renegade breakout. Mainly it's going to be late afternoon. Here we go about 5 at 5 time. You can see filling in back to the southwest there. Then it kind of scoots off to the northeast. And you notice not much down to the south. So rainfall pattern out of this one, at least over the next 48 hours, shows the bulk of the heavier rain staying north of Terre Haute. Quarter inch amounts, Paris, Mattoon. Lighter amounts as you go off to the south. Of course, this is Saturday and we're talking Monday for that rainfall, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a big rain. Here comes that system in Monday. All rain with the temps warm, and then after that, some sunshine. Cold weather, dry cold front pushes through. Don't think we'll see much in the way of precipitation after Monday. The chances are pretty low. Now, temperatures, for the most part, will stay cool. A few days above the norm. Then late week, we'll tap this colder air here for a very brief two- to three-day cool down. And then, by next weekend, warm right back up with some sunshine. So, nothing is going to sustain itself. Tonight, 32. With the clouds building back in in a few spots, we've warmed to 42, but I think we'll get down around the freezing mark most areas tonight under all those clouds. And then tomorrow, all the way up to 46 as we break out some sunshine, winds will lighten up. Then, looking ahead, rain gear Monday, especially I think you'll need it later in the day. We'll have some 50s crop up too. That's pretty mild for this time of year. Then, dry cold front pushes through. We'll get lots of sunshine Wednesday right into Saturday. But a couple of cool days, especially cool mornings. 18 there Thursday and Friday morning. But after that, a quick rebound back to the 40s by the weekend. Other than the Monday rain, which we don't need any rain right now, that's a pretty good forecast for this time of year. Yeah, I can't complain about it. It's, it's pretty really good, good to forecast. me. Yeah.